Hey there friends. In this video, we are going to run through my choices for top Wi-Fi baby monitors of 2022. Despite the fact that there are, I think, less than two months left in 2022, what I really wanted to do was just be sure on this list. Just really make sure I nailed it. And I think I did. First, for some just real quick housekeeping items. This video is sponsored by Happiest Baby, makers of the Snoo Smart Sleeper. We've used it, we've recommended it, and we regularly get feedback from parents on how great it is. So be sure to stay tuned till the end of this video and we'll let you in on a little offer we've cooked up with our friends over at Happiest Baby. To start, I wanted to shout out Eufy um, as an honorable mention because unlike most non-Wi-Fi baby monitors, they are progressing into the modern technical age. Now, I've only had a chance to use this monitor briefly, but it's solid in its simplicity. It's app-based, so no parent unit required. Although uh, there is actually an option to bundle a separate parent unit for $399, whereas this model with just the smart sock and app is $330. This app is as bare bones as it gets, but I really love that you can control the orientation of the camera through the app. The app is quite stable and connects pretty quickly. So like I mentioned, this version of the Eufy maintains its pan and tilt capabilities uh, like its predecessors. And this feature actually makes it stand alone among the other Wi-Fi baby monitors on this list as it's the only one that actually can do this. Also, Eufy has joined the baby wearable tech game with their new smart sock. So it goes on your baby's ankle and will measure her heart rate along with providing sleep data. So I'm planning on doing a more in-depth review soon. So if Eufy it, be sure to watch it. I'm trying to do a, a Eufy pun. If you see, if Eufy it. Hey, you know what? They're not all winners. So anyway, kudos to Eufy on their ever evolving effort to evolve. Guys, it's been a while, <laughs> cut me some slack. All right, the first monitor in my fourth favorite on the main list of this countdown is the Lollipop Cam. Starting at 150 bucks, this is by far the least expensive Wi-Fi monitor on this list. And despite it being super cheap, the Lollipop Cam comes with some pretty cool features. You know, it has these standard features like 1080p, uh, night vision, white noise, background audio, push to talk, but it also has this nice little feature called true crying detection. This feature filters out external noises like dogs barking, door slamming, uh, older siblings being just generally loud, uh, basically anything that's not your baby crying. So you get an alert uh, and can come running to see what's the matter whenever that alert pops up. There's also a neat little rolling decibel level chart that will detail um, graphically when the monitor captured your baby crying. Now, another nifty little feature is something called cross detection. This will alert you if your baby leaves the designated zone you set within the app. Now, with the purchase of a $50 sensor, you can get access to humidity, temperature, and air quality information. The app also offers some sort of sleep tracking and breathing monitoring with Lollipop Care, uh, which is a subscription they offer with um, a Premier Pro plan or an Elite Pro plan. Now, the tracking data is fairly basic. Uh, what you'll get is information on how many hours your baby slept, when she woke up, and when she fell asleep. Now, honestly, I'm still trying to figure out how the breathing monitoring actually works. I have the one of the plans that it's supposed to work with. Uh, embarrassingly enough, I haven't been able to figure it out. But just like with the Eufy, I'm planning on doing a more in-depth uh, look into Lollipop's breathing monitoring. So look out for that as well. I also really love that if you have multiple cameras, you can access the split screen feature, which allows you to see both live camera feeds at the same time. Now, there are some downsides to the Lollipop cam worth calling out. Uh, for instance, a lot of the cooler features are locked behind a paid subscription, which is a bit disappointing and also actually becoming more and more common with Wi-Fi baby monitors for better or worse. One of the biggest upgrades to the monitor, like I said, is the breathing monitoring. But again, uh, that one can only be unlocked with the advanced pro package. And also I can't seem to figure out where it is or how it works, but again, Hopefully more on that in another video. The Premium Pro and Elite Pro packages come in at $99 and $200 a year respectively. Um, and with those packages, you get access to features like continuous video recording, sleep tracking, uh, event recording clips, um, and video clip downloads along with the breathing monitoring like I mentioned. I also don't love the idea of having to purchase a separate sensor add-on to get access to temperature, humidity, and the air quality data. Now, if you have access to it, actually accessing the sleep tracking and other historical data isn't that user-friendly as you've got to tap around the app a bit to get to what you're looking for. But at the end of the day, if you want a relatively inexpensive monitor with just the basics, then I think the Lollipop Cam is the way to go. 
So a quick note before moving on, uh, if you're thinking about buying any one of these monitors, uh, consider doing that by clicking the links in the description below. Now, those are affiliate links, meaning at no cost to you, you can help our channel grow by buying your monitor through those links. So we would appreciate it. All right, so my third favorite Wi-Fi baby monitor of 2022 is the Cubo AI Plus. So just like every other monitor on this list, it comes with 1080p video resolution um, and has a 135 degree field of view. So with the Cubo AI Plus, you have three mounting options. You got the wall mount, the floor stand, and surface mount. Now, if you want the aforementioned three-way mounting choices, then that'll cost you 250 bucks. You can also bundle it with their new sensor pad, which I'll touch on in a minute, for 350 bucks. So on the surface, there's not much going on with the app. So you get the home screen with the live view of the video feed plus this super annoying and in the way section that details the different types of alerts that you can set with the Cubo AI Plus. When you tap on the live video feed, you get a landscape view of what's going on uh, in the feed. Now, when you tap on that feed one more time, there's a timeline of the past 18 hours for you to scroll through. If you happen to be on the home screen and you scroll down past the live video feed, the app pops the feed into a picture in picture view. You also get access to some fairly rudimentary sleep analytics, but if you want more than the last day's worth of info, you'll need a subscription package, which is called the Cubo AI Care. Getting back to the annoying alert tips. Now, while I think the placement of these tips are really annoying and in the way, the alerts themselves are pretty cool. So unlike any of the other monitors on this list, these alerts are more preventative. For instance, if your baby's face is covered with something like a blanket or a lovey or stuffy or whatever, the monitor will send you an alert telling you so. The other preventative type alert that the Cubo AI Plus offers is something called a rollover alert. So again, like the previous alert, this is meant to warn you that your baby is in a potentially dangerous position so you can go in and correct it. Now, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, Cubo now offers something called a sleep sensor pad. So basically what this does is sense uh, what they call micro motions. So if the monitor detects that your baby is in her crib and the sensor pad is not sensing any micro motions, it will trigger an alert. In essence, this is their version of breathing monitoring, but instead of detecting breathing movement, the pad acts as a mini seismograph uh, detecting body movement. Now uh, with any monitor on this list, there are some drawbacks. Uh, I feel like the app could be cleaned up a bit, but from a user experience, those alert tips are just in the way and not really needed on the home screen. Um, also super minor, I'm not a huge fan of the whole bird motif. There, I said it, I hate birds. But overall, at the end of the day, I'm a big fan of the Cubo AI Plus. It's a great monitor, uh, it's relatively cheap, and it's got some pretty cool features. All right, just another real quick plug for our bag, a bag unlike any other for dads out there. This is really why I don't call it a diaper bag, uh, because there's more to parenting and uh, being with your kids outdoors or outside of the house than just needing to worry about changing diapers. Um, you can wear it as a backpack or a messenger bag, and it comes with these two super slick removable inserts. Really, there's nothing like these out there. Uh, so if you want to check it out and see for yourself, go to fathercraft.com slash bag. There's a pre-order going on right now. There's limited availability. Get out there and get yours now. Next on the list is the Miku Pro, which in my opinion keeps getting better and better with every update. Uh, you get the standard 1080p, recording in 30 frames per second and a 140 degree field of view. There's also some pretty crisp audio coming from the super sleek dual Ole Wolf speakers. And as far as baby monitors go, the souped up processor of the Miku Pro is top of the line. Now this is important because the Miku Pro utilizes something called sensor fusion, which powers its ability to monitor breathing without wearables. Now in previous videos, I've remarked that I felt like Nanit connects to the app quicker than Miku, but I feel like now as of this recording, the gap is closer than ever. Within the analytics tab, you get an overview of daytime and nighttime sleep summaries and an overall analysis of your baby's sleep at night. Within the activities tab, you can scroll through video recordings detailing sleep activity like movement, sound, and non-movement. In the event that your breathing monitoring is on and your alerts are on, if the Miku Pro does not detect breathing, you will hear this. Now, what's super important about all these features is you do not need a subscription to access any of these features. And one of those features, which is my favorite, is the breathing monitoring. Now, the internal hardware that powers this feature is otherworldly as far as baby monitors go and allows you to monitor your baby's breathing without the use of any wearables. Now, another new feature that the Miku Pro offers is something called Care Plus. This feature allows you to track stats like height, 
weight, diaper changes, feedings, and any other health issues that you notice with your baby that you can manually enter into the app. It also provides another view into your baby's sleep summary, similar to what's found in the analytics section of the app, but offers a more summarized view over time. Probably most importantly, it provides a huge selection of sleep and developmental tips based on your baby's age to help you get a better idea of what to expect and when. Now, some downsides, again, it's really expensive out of the gate at $400, but remember, you do not need a subscription and you do not need to purchase any wearables to access some of these features. And although the connection time from my experience is getting faster, um, it still takes about a second or two longer than uh, the other monitors on this list. All right, coming in at number one uh, is the Nana Pro. And this is a close number one. I mean, I, I honestly go back and forth between the Nanit Pro and the Miku Pro as my favorite monitors. And in, in all honesty, uh, I would consider them both my favorite right now. But unfortunately, that's not how this work. You've got three mounting options, the wall mount, flex mount, and the floor stand mount. The app comes with standard features like background audio, white noise, two-way talk. On top of those fairly standard features, you get a sleep dashboard detailing information about how well your baby slept, and historical movement and sound activities. There's another new feature that Nana offers and that's something called split screen. You know, this is exactly what Lollipop has. So if you have multiple Nana monitors, you can now simultaneously view both video and audio feeds. Now, just like the Miku Pro, Nana offers the ability to monitor your baby's breathing, but in a bit more roundabout way. You can only monitor your baby's breathing by using Nanit's sleepwear. Basically what this does is it tracks the different patterns or pixel movements of the patterns on the breathing wear. And once it stops detecting movement, you'll hear this. Now you can even track your baby's growth using their proprietary crib sheet. Again, pretty simple, place your baby on the sheet and then it will track changes in your baby's growth. Uh, you do have to do some manipulation of uh, different points around your baby, but again, pretty fun, pretty cool to see. Um, all of these features, the breathing monitoring, the growth tracking, the historical data, uh, the historical video feed, uh, these features are only available if you purchase one of their three Sleep Insights subscription packages. And these range anywhere between 100 bucks a year to 300 bucks a year. Now, the caveat to this catch is that you can get the basic subscription package, uh, which provides two days worth of historical data plus breathing monitoring, for free for the first year. Uh, uh. Now all this to say that things can start to get pretty pricey with the Nanit Pro. So again, to recap, uh, the picture quality is excellent. The app loads super quickly and is super stable. I love the analytics dashboard. I love the way it breaks down the different inf types of information. All right, so the downsides. Again, my biggest pet peeve is the subscription fee, which is rather hefty after the first year. And without the subscription, you lose access to breathing monitoring, which is one of the main reasons to consider buying the Nanit Pro. Now the breathing monitoring requires the use of wearables. Um, so you're going to have to buy a lot of Nanit sleepwear. But overall, this is one of the best monitors on the market, if you can afford it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, one of the goats. As we mentioned, this video is sponsored by Happiest Baby, makers of SNU. Now, SNU is a robotic bassinet that uses gentle motion and white noise to automatically calm baby when they fuss. Now, it won't feed her, so you're still gonna need to get up and do that parenting thing. Uh, but parents who use SNU report getting an extra one to two hours of sleep per night. That's like a day of extra sleep with, for people without kids. But seriously, that fact alone makes this thing worth its weight in gold. Learn more about Snoo plus other great doctor designed stuff like a nearly magical swaddle called Sleepy at happiestbaby.com. And don't forget your special offer only for viewers of this video by heading to happiestbaby.com slash fathercraft. All right, giveaway time. Here's the deal. We're giving away our top two picks for best baby monitor, one Nanit Pro and one Miku Pro over the next four months. Here's how to enter. I'm gonna go through this fast because you can read this in the description. One, if you like this video, please consider tapping that like button down there below. Actually, don't please, just do it if you wanna enter. Two, subscribe to this channel. You can do that by tapping the subscribe button you'll find just below this video as well. Three, you've got questions about baby monitors? We maybe potentially have answers, so leave a comment below and we'll do our best to answer. Four, head over to fathercraft.com win, which is super important because if you don't, we won't be able to get in touch with you if you do win. Also by doing so, you'll be joining our email list. But don't worry, it's super rad. And unlike parenting, <laughs> you can unsubscribe anytime. All right, you'll find official contest rules and legal jazz in the description below. One more thing, don't forget to check out our super sexy new Fathercraft bag for dads or moms uh, at fathercraft.com slash bag and check it out. All right, I'm done, finally. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's been a minute. This will get better, I promise. 
I'll see you in the next video.